we bring to you the sensational Nightingales singing Somewhere to Lay My Head. The Sensational Nightingales is one of the earliest gospel quintets. It was founded in 1942 by Barney Parks, who had been with the Dixie Hummingbirds. Many of its early recordings featured the late Reverend Julius Cheeks and Archie Brownlee, whose vocal intensity was later copied by Bobby Bland and Wilson Pickett. The Nightingales signed with Peacock Records in 1947 and released their first single, Will You Welcome Me There? Several more hymns followed. I want to tell you here The church bell tolling I want to tell you here In 1957, current member Jojo Wallace had joined the Nightingales. Before the new group made its first appearance, they rehearsed in Goldsboro for a month. Their debut was hailed as sensational, and that was added to the name. Jojo reflects on how he became part of the group. So Bonnie said, I need to get to a player in the tenor saucer. And I left Philadelphia. We went on down. <laughs> oh, right. And the, when I got to, uh, to Spartanburg, there I saw Jim Sheeks. It was in 1957 when the Sensational Nightingales appeared on the Gospel Train Tour with the Claire Award Singers and five other headlining groups. Julius Cheeks left the quintet and returned several times, making his final exit in 1960. The Nightingales hit their stride in the 50s and 60s. They played at the Apollo Theater, Carnegie Hall, and Madison Square Garden with the legendary Mahalia Jackson and most of the other well-known gospel singers of the time. The Gales, as some called them, were known for their four-part harmony. Wallace says the songs are short, direct, and to the point. It's the word of the Lord. The U.S. Information Agency had the Nightingales to serve as exchange arts cultural ambassadors, and that led to a tour of South Africa, including Sierra Leone, the Ivory Coast, Ghana, and Botswana. Their last tour took them across Europe to Germany, France, Switzerland, and Spain. The Sensational Nightingales were nominated for Best Traditional Soul Gospel Album at the 2003 Grammys. The group has some age on it, but they're still spreading the word of the Lord the only way they know how, through music and song. These are the words I know God's people but say, can't you hear him saying, we got to hold on a little while, hold on just a little while, I wonder how many hold 